So we've done some basic signal generation, but let's take a look at some analysis. We'll go ahead and stop execution and go back to our block diagram. Now, as you expand and, and write new code, you may need to give yourself a little more space. So I'll drag down the bottom of this while loop in order to give myself some room. Of course, we can return to the palettes and you'll find a wide array of analysis functionality there. But if you already know exactly what you're looking for, you can use a tool called Quick Drop by typing in the name of the function. You just press Control Space and begin typing. And in this case, I'll want the FFT Power Spectral v Sub VI. So we'll go ahead and place this down. And again, the contextual help window is showing us that given a time signal, this will return a number of different characteristics of our signal. So we'll wire in our generated sine wave. And again, try to give ourselves some room. And we'll need a new graph that allows us to display the signal. So returning to our front panel, we'll actually just create a second graph by copying and pasting the one that's there. And we'll relabel it frequency domain. And again, we want to be able to see everything. And again, double clicking takes us back to the block diagram. We have the corresponding terminal. And we can wire it up to our power spectrum output. So at this point, when we run it, not only do we have our time domain signal, but we now have a peak that indicates the dominant tone or frequency of our signal. Uh, we can actually adjust the scale by simply modifying the maximum value of this knob. And that allows us to actually generate a higher frequency signal. And we can see the graph for the frequency domain shift accordingly.